Hello again. My name is still Pete Gerlach. I'm still a veteran family systems therapist. And I want to add to um, the videos that I've already uploaded on relationships. This particular video is on something that I think most people, especially children, uh, struggle with at times, which is being worried that by our actions or lack of actions, we're going to, quote, hurt someone's feelings. Have you ever been taught it's bad or wrong to hurt people's feelings? Is that your present rule? Do you avoid saying or doing things that may cause other people some uncomfortable feelings? Many of us do that. That can either be a kindness or it can harm the other person. This video is my brief attempt to try and explain that point of view. Let's start by saying, well, what are hurt feelings? That's kind of a code word, and it stands for usually one or more unpleasant feelings like shame. I'm a bad person. Guilt. Oh, I did something wrong. Regret or remorse. Anxiety. Fear, fear of abandonment, fear of failure. Hurt feelings are some mix of, more broadly, uncomfortable feelings. As you know, uh, emotions are natural and normal, and they range from pleasant and comforting and pleasurable to unpleasant and even terrible. Um, they're all natural responses to our environment. We're taught that some emotions are negative or bad. I strongly disagree. From my point of view, as a student, student of human nature, all emotions are gifts to us and they point at something we need. So they're pointers. Um, yes, some pointers are uncomfortable. And it's a natural thing to avoid discomfort. And in a social situation, we're taught to be pleasant and nice and polite. And that includes not hurting someone's feelings. Well, take a look at that. Um, by not hurting someone's feelings, I propose that you are depriving them of awareness that could be useful if they choose to use it in spotting some psychological wounds and healing them, or your direct caring feedback may help them understand they have some important needs that are unfilled and that they need to pay attention to. So to restate, hurting someone's feelings can in fact, if they have an open mind and if they are ruled by their true self, which may mean nothing to you unless you've seen lesson one in my videos and website. Hurting someone's feelings can allow them to become aware of wounds they need to heal and or needs they should fill for a better life. Notice your reaction. Uh, I'm, pro I'm proposing this radical idea that hurting someone's feelings can actually help them. It can also help you. If you avoid saying something to someone you care about, or even you don't care about, what happens to your own self-esteem? In my experience, it's awfully easy to say, oh man, I'm a wimp. I should, I'm not, I should stand up to this person. I should have the courage to say what I think. And if you don't, if you quote, bite your tongue, your self-esteem can take a hit. Right, by itself, in one instance, that may not be earth-shattering. But if it's a habit, and if you do it with many people, it can seriously erode your self-confidence and your self-identity, uh, your self-esteem. So giving people respectful, direct feedback, even if it causes them unpleasant feelings, can be helpful. They may not see it that way. The choice is yours. 
there is no question that in some cases keeping your mouth shut is a kindness especially with children children are not equipped they don't have the adult wisdom or perspective or life experience to step back from something that stings or hurts and take a look at why am I feeling this what do I need to learn from this um, thanks for giving me that unpleasant feedback kids can't do that most kids so I'm not advocating being blunt and insensitive to kids I am advocating evaluate before you shut your trap evaluate what are the odds that you're depriving the other person of some really potentially useful information here's an example let's say your friend Pat is seriously overweight to the point of being obese and you think to yourself oh, man Pat is just ultra fat it's obese you have a choice you can tell Pat that or you can bite your tongue and say nothing um, notice if you choose to say something you have two more choices one is if you're impulsive and you don't um, pay attention to how you're speaking you can say Pat what's the story with you you're obese what do you eat out of a trough you, you are loaded with fat and carbs um, you're a pig uh, notice the way you say that which is demeaning and sarcastic the way you speak can cause unpleasant feelings in addition to what you speak you're really obese which implies you're a bad person or you're less than me or you're socially irresponsible or various other things so you have control if you choose to say anything at all of how you say it there is a best way to give direct feedback to people in a caring respectful way there's also a best way for expecting their response and learning how to handle it so how would that sound how could you give Pat direct caring feedback it might sound like this Pat can I give you some feedback and if Pat says well sure what and you say you know I can't help noticing you're carrying an awful lot of extra weight I, I'm not here to tell you how to eat or what to eat or when to eat but because I care about you I'm really concerned that all the extra pounds and the lack of exercise that you choose not to get is really setting you up for some major health problems it worries me because I care about you period no long explanations no sermons no preaching nada just straight objective feedback like that you think Pat's feelings are going to be hurt they might be if they are is that your responsibility are you responsible for Pat's feelings or is Pat I propose Pat is just like you are responsible for your own feelings notice how you feel do you buy this or not uh, if you are ruled by a true self I suspect you might agree with my point here if you are ruled by a false self um, she or he or it is going to come up with all kinds of reasons why this is crazy nonsense and I'm nuts I Pete am nuts and you shouldn't begin to listen to this advice so be it the real fundamental issue here is who's running your life is it your true self or a false self if that doesn't mean anything to you I respectfully urge you study lesson one in my videos and my website to find out who's running your life that's the real issue okay so let me try and sum up uh, my points here we're often taught by well-meaning adults when we're young don't ever hurt someone's feelings now I'm proposing a new rule which is all feelings are useful both pleasant feelings and unpleasant feelings like guilt shame anger uncertainty confusion regret 
overwhelm, etc. Every one of those is useful. So by not giving someone direct feedback and, and risking that they might have, quote, unpleasant feelings, you're depriving them of a chance to become aware of psychological wounds they may be carrying and or you're depriving of the chance to see some unmet needs that they need to take some action on. You may be harming them and lowering your own self-respect. Notice how you feel with the ideas I've just presented. Meditate on them. Discuss them with others if you wish. The next time you find yourself hesitating to give an able, clear-minded adult direct feedback about something about them that bothers you, either bothers you or bothers you for them, remember these ideas. Are you responsible for the other person's feelings? I vote no, they are. And remember, all feelings are not positive, are not negative, they're pleasant or unpleasant, and all emotions are assets, they're useful, they're helpful, every one of them. If you'd like to get more information and perspective on this subject, uh, let me refer you to two web articles in my free self-improvement website, sfhelp.org. It's called Break the Cycle is the website. Here are two articles that I invite you to read and get more perspective on this subject. Um, as always, I would be grateful to have any feedback you have on this video or any other videos and or my website and or any of the articles in the website. Be glad to hear from you. Um, I appreciate your attention. I hope you find this thought-provoking and helpful. Thanks for watching.